The University of Arizona campus is home to students and faculty from more than 100 countries around the world. Almost 400 international students come from Middle Eastern countries, many among them being women. Having lived here for 13 years, Bahar Larkil Durham is accustomed to American culture, but says there are differences between the two places, particularly when it comes to gender and social expectations. There's definitely more of an emphasis on finding a husband in Turkey. And it's interesting with my secular family because I get a lot of pressure to find a man while also being successful, you know, with a career. Versus here where it's still expected, you know, that you go through boy a few boyfriends and stuff, but it's understood even if you're, you know, 19 that you're not like, your goal isn't to get married at that moment. And you still have the familial pressures, even if you're a guy. You know, it's not just the women who are supposed to help out in the home, the guy is supposed to as well. Bahar spent the first 10 years of her life in Istanbul, Turkey. While women wearing cloth coverings is embedded into the culture, she doesn't remember too many women wearing them when she lived there. However, she says that this has been changing recently. In terms of the hijab, which is called the trashop in Turkey, it's an interesting topic because recently, in the past decade or so, maybe a bit longer, Turkey's been sliding into slightly more of a fundamentalist view, so there's been a great influx of women who are wearing trashop. Most people associate the Middle East with the hijab, the traditional head covering worn by women. Because of not having that choice, it is portrayed like as negative in the United States and in other Western countries. Catherine Shamshiri is a U of A scholar originally from Iran, but spent the last eight years in Malaysia. In my country, you must have it, but it's actually not that strict in terms of showing your hair or specific part of the body. It must be covered, but they don't mind if you're wearing something too tight or too stretch, stretch clothes. So um, it's totally different from the one that you would see on uh, the media. Catherine says there is not just issues surrounding women in her country, but also evolution and progression that exists today. For example, gender discrimination, like denial, employment denial for women for specific jobs. But nowadays, it is getting much better, and women are standing up for their rights. And uh, you would see like women in really high positions, senior positions in the society. According to Catherine, this shift in society can actually be drawn from one of our most popular pastimes. I would say internet is playing um, uh, a really important role, imperative role in like letting people know what their right is. It would give them information uh, even if they are not well educated, uh, only for the reason that they are watching and seeing what is happening around the world.